What is going on everyone? We're gonna jump right into it, so without wasting your time, smash like. We're gonna teach you how to do the kneeling landmine press. Let's do it. Before we jump into the three mistakes, I wanna give you a free gift from me to you. I wanna help people get better form, so we made a personal trainer in your pocket form guide that you can download absolutely free. First link in the description down below, you know, people have been saying we should sell this for $100 or $200. We're giving it away to the first 100 people that click that link and download it, so definitely make sure you do that. Back to the video. So jumping into the actual full tutorial of the single arm kneeling landmine press uh, basically you just want to be a couple inches away from this uh, part of the bar and the leg that's back is going to be the arm that you're using for this exercise okay so just jumping into proper form and just picking it up you want to make sure you're not rounding back and just picking it up and doing random things to throw your back out even if it's lighter weight we want to make sure you don't get injured so keeping that chest up core tight glutes engaged picking it up just like this at all times I find the best starting position is a couple inches away from the front of your shoulder now this leg is super important for creating leverage leverage within the exercise okay so at all times you're just gonna keep that core nice and tight that's the most important part and that's why this is such a good exercise it's not just a shoulder exercise it's a core exercise I find just keeping my hand here for leverage and support is really good you can keep it out here do whatever you want and then just from here just nice power okay just straight up towards the ceiling okay the way that your position is very important okay so I'll rep out a couple reps And then once again, when setting it down, you don't want to just let it go down. You want to keep that chest up, core tight, boom. Now we're going to jump into two to three common mistakes that you want to avoid uh, to perfect this exercise. So biggest mistake you might have is you might do everything Kyle just said perfectly and you could be in a very wrong position. So if I'm nice and close, right, I'm way too pumped up here, I'm going to have to lean back into my spine and the hyper center my spine and push forward. It doesn't present a good bar path whatsoever. At the same record, if I'm too far forward, I'm putting a lot of tension on that shoulder. You can see I feel like my shoulder's gonna pop out. I don't have shoulder problems, that's a great way to start with some. So instead, you know, if you're going kneeling position, pop it up here. You wanna be nice and close. I like the bar maybe an inch or two inches in front of the shoulder, push into it. Strong core the whole time, strong glutes, pushing straight up, up down. I'm not trying to heave into it like this, I'm not trying to back pedal. I'm staying with a strong torso, strong core, pushing up from the shoulder. Power. Common mistake number two I'd say is not fully locking out the movement. So I see a lot of times within any shoulder exercise especially, a lot of times we'll, people will load on like let's say two plates for this and they'll go. You're only going to build half your shoulder there so I'd much rather you use lighter weight, take control of the exercise, don't let the exercise take control of you, keep that core tight and just fully lock out and control on the way down. I'm telling you. Even if you just do two to three reps with proper form, with control on the way down, with a full lockout versus 10 to 12 reps of just throwing it up and heaving, you're gonna get way more out of the exercise from those two to three reps that are nice and controlled and with a full lockout. The third common mistake isn't a complicated one, but someone's gonna do it and go, what the heck? Um, so basically it's being off balance. If you have this leg forward, and you're working with this arm, it makes no sense. I'm putting myself in a weird position, you know, really involving my abs more than necessary. Instead you want balance. So if I'm using my left foot forward, my right hand should be up. You can see how I can naturally balance and really, really focus on the core here. You know, this is a great opportunity to really have great contraction. Bringing that down, I got that two to three inches, powering up, staying strong the whole time. Breathe with it, embrace, breathe, embrace. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video, hanging in. If you want to master your form, definitely get that form guide or click the second link to see 50 plus other videos of all your favorite exercises how to do them right, how to do them properly. Definitely tune in. If you like this, smash like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.